Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're back in GTA Online customizing another one of the Los Santos Summer Special cars. Today we're going to be customizing the Imponte Dukes Beta. Um, I've got it right here. It's 378,000 so it's actually one of the cheapest um, vehicles in this update. I think it might actually be the cheapest uh, one that came out in this update. And before you click away from this video, yes, it is a battered up version of the Dukes, but we can actually clean it up and uh, repair all the body panels. So if you're not into the beaten, like broken body panel look, then don't worry, we can actually go and fix it up. So you may still want to watch this video just to see what customization is available for the vehicle and before we get into the customization um, if you want to see any customization for the club the d10 the yuga 4x4 or the new yosemite rancher then i did a live stream the other day where i customized all four of those vehicles in the pinned comment of the live stream there is a time card for each of the vehicles so you can skip to the specific part of customization that you want to see um, but today we're going to be customizing the Beta Dukes. I've already gone ahead and bought it right here. Um, it looks quite broken and a bit interesting, I have to say. Um, I don't really know why Rockstar decided to add this vehicle. Um, I'm not complaining that they did add it because, I mean, I like it. It has some awesome customization. Um, but it is a little bit of an oddball um, in, the, in the collection that we got in this DLC. But it does come with some um, unique stock wheels. You can't actually get these on any other vehicle. And they're not in the new street class either. So they're quite cool. Um, and it does have loads of unique customization options um, that we couldn't get on the original Dukes. So let's just hop into the vehicle and uh, go and see what we can actually do with this thing. Alright, so obviously we've got armor and brakes and everything. We're just going to do the cosmetic things because that's what's sort of important. That's why you're all here. So on the front bumper, we can go for the damaged front splitter, which basically adds a splitter and it's like if you're going for the damaged look, you can match up the splitter. You can get the damaged street splitter, which is a carbon version. You can have the repaired bumper, which basically removes those like cable ties and it just fixes up the bumper. So you can fix it up if you want to. You can go for a repaired front splitter and a repaired street splitter. You can go for the carbon splitter, the custom splitter, the angled splitter, the primary extended splitter, the race splitter, and that is it. So today I'm going to go for like a repaired build, but I still want to go for like a rusted out sort of rat rod kind of look. So um, I don't really know which one of these is going to suit the vehicle. I quite like this one, the custom splitter. Um, so I think we'll go with that. On the exhausts, we have the stock Duke exhaust. We can go for the round exhausts. We can get the side exit. We can get the quad side exit, which is just down there by the front wheel. We can go for the side exit dual exhausts, the square exhausts, which are just on the back, and they're like actual um, um, Dodge Charger exhausts. They're the kind of wheels that it actually had on the vehicle. We can go for the quad square exhausts. We can go for the anodized exhausts, titanium tip exhausts, and we can go for the box exhausts. Um, I quite like the, I guess if we're going for like a um, rusted out sort of look, then I think we have to go for like a titanium one. Um, I do love these exhausts by the front wheels. I think they look quite cool. In fact, I think we might go for the side exit quad exhaust. They look cool. Then on the fenders, we can fix up the fenders. Um, so you can fix that up if you want to or you can go for fender flares which looks a little bit weird in my opinion I've never seen a, um, a, a charger like this in real life so I'm not going to go for that I'm just going to fix the fenders on the grill we can get the stock dukes grill we can have the crown grill you can have the dash grill you can get the billet grill or you can get the zip grill 
Um, I quite like the crown grill. That looks quite nice. It's it's still quite clean, um, but I like that all of these have the like um, primary colour in the grill, which looks really nice. So I think we'll go for that. On the hood, the hood is damaged, as you can see. You can get the damaged performance hood, the damaged snorkel hood, or you can get the stock repaired hood. You can get the damaged insert hood, which is like the actual charger hood with the two scoops. You can get the repaired performance hood. You can get the snorkel repaired hood. You can get the insert repaired hood. You can get the dual intake repaired hood, which is basically the charger, uh, the challenger hood, sorry. You can get the shaker hood, which also has the hood pins on there. You can get the single intake bug catcher, or the triple intake bug catcher, or you can get the twin turbo hood. Um, I'm not really sure what we want to go for on this. I guess if we're doing like a... I like a rat rod kind of build we've kind of got to go for one of the blowers I do like um, oh yeah the um, intake actually does work as well which is nice um, but I think the big intake bug catcher looks the best so we'll go for that on the lights we can change up the lights um, but I'm not going to there are a few liveries and this is where we can make it a rusted version so we have the rusty, we have primed, we have rusty flames, we've got rusty graffiti, we've got rusty with black stripes which are just there on the bonnet and they do go over the boot as well. Um, we have junkyard racing, we've got white stripes which you can't actually see um, but it's basically the same as the black stripes here but they're white. Um, we've got that in a flamed version, so stripes with flames. We've got flames, we've got checkered flag, we've got racer 22 and we've got racer 6. I think I'm going to go for the junkyard racing. I'm going for like a um, hot rod racer kind of look, so we'll go with that. Um, we do have some louvers on the rear. So we've got the sprint louvers, we've got the dash louvers, the race louvers, all the sport louvers. I don't really think any of these work on this vehicle, so I'm not going to go for one of those. The mirrors, we have the stock Duke mirrors. You can get the oval mirrors, uh, which look kind of weird. You can get the square mirrors, you can get the cone mirrors, and you can get the circular mirrors, which are like the actual um, Charger 69 Charger mirrors. So I'm going to go for those. On the plate, we'll just set that to yellow and black for now. Respray. Now, it looks a bit shiny at the moment, so for the rusted outlook, we're going to go for something in matte. Um, I don't really know what exactly. Um, maybe like an orange because chargers were always like kind of orange well you, you see a lot of orange ones so we'll go for orange the secondary color what does that actually change okay so that changes all the trim like it would normally um, we'll go for a metal brushed black steel or is that a bit too shiny um, I feel like that might be a bit too shiny. Maybe like a matte light grey, something like that. That looks quite nice. Um, the crew emblem goes on the side there, just like it does with the regular Dukes. Um, the roll cage, so if you want to, you can go for the clean interior look. And then we've got the roll cage and chassis upgrade, which does change the seat slightly. We've got the stunt cage, which removes the passenger seat. We've got the street cage, which changes the seat, and it's basically like a half loop uh, in the back. We've got the track cage, again with some different seats. We've got the padded cage, the dash cage, and the drag cage, which has some carbon fiber bucket seats. Um, I guess if we're going for like a um, like a race car one. I'll go for... Mm, 
I guess we'll go for I think we'll go for the street cage it's a shame we can't get like the broken interior with the um, with the roll cage in that's kind of a shame but anyway um, it is what it is um, then on the roof we can go for a painted roof which then just um, gets rid of the uh, like black roof and adds like delivery in there looks nice and then obviously we've got all the different flags like you can get on the regular dukes there i'm just going to go for the painted roof because that looks the best on the rear we've got the mid level spoiler we've got the angled spoiler which is just like a plastic ducktail bolt on we've got the angled inset spoiler which is basically the same but it has a cut out there we've got the ducktail spoiler we've got the street spoiler we've got the bolted dovetail spoiler and we've got the drag spoiler i think the hmm i think this one the angled inset spoiler i think that goes best with the build so we'll go for that the suspension not much of a drop to be honest um the front is already quite low the back is kind of like jacked up kind of like a drag car um so I think we'll just leave it how it is for now we can obviously do transmission and turbo but i'm not going to bother um in the wheels category um so as i mentioned these are uh, unique to this vehicle you can't get these wheels on any other vehicle um but that doesn't mean i like them so i'm gonna change them up for something um we'll just go into this one we'll paint these black and then go to the street and now we can see what they look like when they're black i feel like some of these like the steel wheels um stuff like these are gonna look the best um maybe something like the hot ring steelies these ones with the chrome look a bit too like high end for the build i think honestly the retro steelies look the best on this so i think we'll go with that the tyres, since we're going for a race car build, I think we'll go for some tyre lettering. Um, I don't really know which tyre lettering. I think maybe just the atomic one. And then I think we'll just tint... Oh, we can actually uh, get some wheel uh, wheel bar, wheelie bars. Sorry, we can get the repaired bumper, which just repairs up the rear bumper. We can get the wheelie bar, or you can get the wheelie bar with shoot. I'm just going to go for the repaired bumper and then we'll just tint the windows a little bit and that is the thing fully customized it does look a little bit interesting but i do like the like rat rod look um i think it's quite unique and i'm glad rockstar did add this vehicle um it is quite cool you can go for like a regular dukes build with this um but they obviously have the working intake and there's a load of new options as well so let's take it outside now and see how it performs okay so it's a lovely rainy day for us to test out our new dukes beta doesn't matter if we smash, smash it up because it actually looks better um, but yeah I really like this vehicle it kind of looks like an old NASCAR that we've kind of revived uh, revived um, that's the kind of look i'm getting from this i love those front exhausts by the wheels i think they look really cool especially if you're going for like a rat rod build like i've gone for here um the liveries also are really cool now the performance of this vehicle is very similar to what you get on the regular dukes um but i have heard rumors that this thing is apparently slower than the regular dukes um so if you're using this thing for races i don't know how it compares with the rest of the muscle class but i believe it is actually slower than the regular duke so that's something just to bear in mind also something i've noticed which my friend reaper pointed out to me is the fact that the vehicle is actually a little bit wider so if you look at the back of the vehicle the wheels are outset a little bit more than they are on the regular dukes so the actual body is not wider but the wheels are set wider on the back at least so it does look a little bit wider um so that's just something to bear in mind if you're considering buying this vehicle but i really like it i think it's a welcome addition to the game i think people are really liking it 
and it is sort of an upgraded version of the regular Dukes as well. But that's going to do it for today's video guys, I hope you have all enjoyed taking a look at the Imponte Dukes beta with me. Uh, over the next couple of days we're going to be customising all of the brand new Los Santos Summer Special vehicles. So if that's something you're interested in watching then please stick around on the channel, subscribe if you are new. And uh, that's going to do it for today. I hope you have all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.